Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and gonna continue on with part two. I, uh, I stopped playing exactly where I, uh, I was at the end of part one. So, last I checked, we're doing some quests where we gotta kill some yetis, rescue some trap survivors, and then we have some exploration, uh, quests we gotta do, which is good because I am a big fan of parkouring. And that's something I really wanna be able to show off, you know? I definitely want to be able to show off the more parkour aspects of the game. Okay, what's that? So we kill, we're killing yetis or rescuing, rescuing trap survivors. Nothing too complicated. Stand, like, again, more, it's just standard MMO questing. Uh, I've heard that when you get to the higher levels, there's, it's less conventional quests. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but that would, I'm totally down for that. So, 25% uh, expedition cartography. Let's, uh, let's do this. It's pointing me 300 meters in this direction. Explore a mission. Okay, cartography. I guess it's just a matter of unlocking stuff, which, again, I actually like. If there's more... I just like exploration-based content a lot. It's just, it's just interesting to me. I definitely have to turn up the telegraphing, though, because that stuff is really hard to see for somebody who's colorblind. I'm still so happy that there's an option, that there's options for that in the game, and that that's not something I'm going to have to, like, maybe download a bunch of add-ons for. I think that the more that the developers do with their own game, the the generally the happier I am. Vitalium Crystal, that's probably something for miners. Signal for help. Huh, I wonder if I'll be able to get up there. Yeah, as soon as he starts telegraphing that ability, I can just stun him. Definitely a bit of skill. Unless it's down here. Nope, that is definitely not down here. Uh, Signal for help. There's got to be some parkour involved with this. So let's, let's take a look. Unless we just have to go up and around. I would enjoy if there was some parkour involved with this. I'm still killing my yetis. But I want to parkour. I'm somebody who gets easily distracted by side missions too. So, oh man, is is our path missions gonna be a big thing for me? Absolutely. Oh hey, I like this. In terms of the oh, okay. How much does that hurt if it actually hits me? I guess is the real question. Signal for help. Well, I definitely have to progress up through this crap. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. Alright, so let's just try and avoid this as best as possible. Sprint up. And are you the person who is signaling for help? Body in the snow. Was that? I don't even know what that was. That may have been another quest for something. Signal for help. And that's done. Awesome. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, what the hell? Am I going to unlock something for this? I would like it if there was some park. Oh, can I parkour around that thing? Or is it just showing me the landscape? Looks like it's just showing me the landscape. I think Guild Wars 2 did that too. Whenever you did one of the, uh, the jump puzzles. I like these little uh, environmental hazards though. Envir I mean, it's it's not something that seems big to a lot of people, but I am a fan of little things like that. It shows that you tried to bring a little bit more life to your world. And in MMOs, that's something that's very, very stagnant. Most, most MMOs try to do that with quests, actually with the quests themselves, to try and bring life to their world. But bringing life to your environment through things such as an environmental... Something like an environmental uh, hazard is... To me, I, I love that kind of stuff. Excuse me. I love that kind of stuff. Those are the kind of things that I think that MMO creators should definitely strive to do. And they shouldn't take for granted. Double kill. Double kill. That was an achievement? Really? Increases your strike through chance. Stacks up to three times. Must be a passive I got. Is that a passive I got from something? This precision? Maybe it was something from... Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that. Maybe it was something that I got per stack. Discolored Yeti teeth. Is it my weapon? Hmm. I don't know. 
where I got that. Hey, PvP. Reputation, mounts, titles, stats, secondary, stat bonuses? Huh. Strike through chance. I don't know. I don't know how I got it, but I know strike through chance is to go through reflections. And apparently I can shoot through this tree. And there we go. Seems you can pick up loot from pretty far away. Yeah, I'm just getting strike through chance just from my basic attacks, it seems. Port to Deadeye. And already I'm, I am missing a mount, though. I am missing having, like, even just a ground mount for the, for the purpose of exploration. Wait a minute. Oh my god, this zone is not big. At all. I hope the world is bigger than that. I did not realize how small this area was. It looks a lot bigger. They did a good job making it look big, but I have barely explored this place at all, and it's like, and it's 44% explored. Uh, what do we got? These are gloves. These are all gloves. No, these are feet. I should probably get gloves. 150 armor, 102. One grit. I don't know what grit means. Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't pick up the heavy hands, unless I can't wear heavy hands, but I'm an engineer. Like, come on. Is this heavy? Yeah, this is all heavy. Get the heavy stuff. You got fight in you. You're damn right I do. I will investigate the tower for you, sir. I am investigating. I will interact. Okay, that's another quest done. That was pretty easy. That was a pretty quick second quest. Uh, cartography. Oh, is that a... Is that a, an actual path that I'm supposed to be... Oh, yeah, follow the power cables. That would probably be the intelligent thing to do. I like how when I'm running upstairs, your movement speed is actually impaired on... Like, let me try running up the side of this. And then, now running upstairs. I definitely feel like my movement is slowed on the stairs. Might just be me, but it definitely feels that way. <laughs> I have no problem with that. I mean, realistically, we do run upstairs slower. Wow, that actually hurt a lot. Not. Yeah, it actually it hit me for like 118. Try and catch him at the end of my range. Do some backpedaling for fun. Doesn't seem like he likes me backpedaling at all. <laughs> Just doesn't seem like he likes it. Deflect. Stop. Stop deflecting. Alright, so we're collecting. By jumping into them. Hold on, I'm going to read that again. That's just like by jumping it. What? what? the hell is that thing doing? Deflect. Oh, he was spawning, apparently. Oh, that stun is so good. Double kill. I like the whole double kill thing. By jumping into them or by just... Oh, okay. There was more than one way to collect. Oh, and I still haven't confirmed. Do I only level up from quests still? Which is... If you can only level up through quests, I'm not gonna... I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, no. That was something that was just for the starting area. I got a bruiser bot. New class ability. Awesome. So, how do I get to my class abilities again? <laughs> Let's see. Let's press every key until something happens. Every key until something happens. Not M. I think it was, uh... B, or not... Yeah, B. B was my class skills. Wait. Can be purchased. I gotta buy abilities? Wow, that's... I haven't had to buy abilities in a long time. I can't remember the last game that made me buy abilities. Can't say that I'm upset with it. I also didn't save like an idiot. So, let's go back to that menu so I can actually press save when I add my bruiser bot. Okay, so bruiser bot, what do you do? Launches the target area, dealing 22 physical damage, interrupting and taunting up to 5 foes. So this is... When I summon these things, they are... Oh, and I have a pet menu, too. He's got abilities. Pet command, attack, stop, and uh, go to a location. It's a hot time in the frigid northern wilds as the exiles fight to survive against extreme weather, ferocious critters, and belligerent natives. Bundle up. Things are about to get real. Okay. Thank you. Bundle up things. Okay, guys. Things are apparently about to get very real. The humor of this game is also another thing. It's hit or miss with some people. It's somewhere in between for me. 
it definitely, if you're looking for a world that you want to feel more like home, it's definitely something I appreciate. Okay, so stats on gear. This is the first time I'm really getting this. Brutality and finesse. So there's different stats, uh, different categories of stats. And uh, these have brutality and finesse. So it has a total of six brutality. And then it also has under brutality. It's got three strike through rating and three critical severity rating, which I'm assuming is critical hit rating or critical hit damage. I hope it's not critical hit damage because games with critical hit damage just get so unbalanced after a while. And then you have uh, six finesse, which also has 2.2 assault power. I, uh, I'm going to take that because I'm pretty sure I already have... Did I? I never equipped those gloves, did I? I'm taking this. I don't care. Also, the constant story involvements, I like. I like games with stories. So if this has sort of a story throughout the entire quest, as long as it's an interesting one, I'll definitely appreciate it. Wow, did we just change the weather? Pretty sure that's not good for the environment. So we got a data cube over here as well. For those of you who love lore... Oh, it also had a quest. Never mind. Episode unlocked. Shipwrecked. I'm guessing that's a... That's a lore thing. Yeah, there's data cubes in the world. I know that. I just uh, wasn't sure how it was working exactly with this. So we need to go this way now. So we're going to go over here. Eventually, we'll get over there to where the cartography wants us to go. We'll just get over there eventually. It wants me to go right there. Map, by the way, very good information on this big map. Very basic, but when it comes to quests, I can't really complain. There's also a quest I missed, so I'm going to go back and pick that up. Kill Dominion and... Wow. So that was a Duke Nukem reference. I came here to kill Dominion and drink beer. And I'm all out of beer. <laughs> I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. I like that. I also like pop reference cultures. So good writers, definitely. At least for... Well, at least so far. Pretty early in the game to use up your Duke Nukem references, though. Yeah, you know this thing is on fire, right, dude? Like, you understand that this is on... F that this thing that we're in is on fire. Why I'm not taking damage, I guess. You can now run slightly faster. Uh... Thank you? That's a little creepy, but okay. Okay, so which one's the closest? That one's definitely the closest. Too bad I probably can't... Uh, can I parkour? Oh, I can parkour over this. Yeti Frost Call. Really? More Yetis? Wait, where's my... Uh... Where's my bot? Oh, he's coming the long way around, isn't he? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Is he coming? Is he gone? Can I tell him to come? There he is. He also brought something with him. Now does he... Now my question I guess is does he do anything unless I tell him to? Because it's not very clear what he's actually doing right now. Yeah, he attacks. I guess it's just because I had him on... Um, that one command. Yeah, he attacks. Doesn't look like he's doing too much damage, but can't really complain about that. What the heck is this? Challenge begins. Just gotta kill Root Brutes? How many? Complete the objective within the time given to win fame and fortune. I actually like that kind of stuff. Okay, and then I can, once I summon him, I can order him to do things. Well, where the hell are more... There's one. There's another one. What the hell? Was I lagging there or something? I had volatility, but I wasn't... Yep, Double come on. Kill. Double kill. Uh, okay. I guess I just gotta kill, kill lots more of these group boot... Of these root boot... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Let's just go kill these. Uh, Crystal Titan, you might want to leave me alone. I guess this thing is... Okay, never mind. He's attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of range of this thing, because I'm tired of fighting it. 
Alright, seriously? And it's immune to taunts. Maybe I should just kill it then. Yep, that double kill again. Yeah, I don't listen. I uh what the hell? I can't make this decision right now. I gotta <laughs> I gotta I gotta do this challenge. Whenever I get a challenge, I have to do it. It's just like a problem I have. How many of these things do I need to kill? I guess is the real question. This whole double kill thing is just really cool to me, though. V. I'm pressing it. Vacuum loot. I guess I'm not close enough to the loot to vacuum it. Yeah, I'll just kill- I'll just kill all of you. I'll get the double kill. I'm down with the double kill. Uh, I'm 62%. I'm just gonna keep killing. That's all I have to do, I just have to keep killing. This stuff can't really kill me anyway. Double kill again. No, I don't want to hit that thing. That's the- I do want to leave that thing alone. 69%. So, there are these little open world challenges to kind of break up the monotony of the grind, although so far, the only one I've gotten is the kill, Root Brutes, which is technically just, I guess, another, uh kill x enemy quest but i do like that it just kind of caught me off guard just all of a sudden it's just like hey kill these enemies get a bonus you have a time limit go i like i like being challenged even if it's in just a small way just random challenges that i wasn't expecting whoops didn't mean to do that come on i'm at 91 percent. i think this is the last one i need my pet taunting for me like that by the way Love it. Ninety-eight percent, close enough. Just one more, <laughs> and I'm gonna level up again soon. Probably, yeah. I'm gonna ki I'm gonna level off this next root brute. I'm somebody who really likes leveling off of grinding. Percent. I'm not like leveling off grinding. I guess is the wrong word, but I uh, I like having that option because there are just times where. I don't want to run around and just constantly pick up a quest, hand in a quest. Pick up a quest, hand in a quest. Loot rewards. What do we get? A challenge completed. Deject your, select your desired reward to increase your chances by 2%. Oh, so now it's going to... Okay, so this is the challenge reward roulette. Click the item you want to double your chances at winning. So what do we got? We got bags to expand inventory space. We got uh, potions and we have food. That's food channels. These are like wow potions and wow food. So I'm going to go with hide sacks. And I won the sacks. I got my reward. Hey, don't throw them over there. Full inventory, huh? Well, not full inventory anymore. Oh, and I just, oh, okay. I wonder where the actual bag space is shown. Dried up seeds, dried up mushrooms. So I should probably equip... Some of that, those items that I picked up before. Oh, that's dust. I thought that was another thing. Outriders. This doesn't have any moxie. This has moxie. So do I really want base health? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I want these. I don't want these. These medium hands. Come on. Better than that. Okay, so what was I even doing in the first place before that challenge started? I guess is the real question. Level 5 now. Leveling pretty quick. I remember somebody telling me that this... That the the leveling in this game used to be really hard. Can I vacuum the damn loot? It's really bothering me that it's telling me I can vacuum the loot, but I can't vacuum the loot. Okay, so what are these things? So we got energy shields. 980, 980. Okay, so this one's got base health. This one's got deflect rating and deflect critical hit rating. I'm gonna go with base health. I'm a I'm a base health kind of guy. Hey, if I got more HP that you gotta get through, that's that's a, that's more annoying for you in my opinion. Shield of Defiance. So that increases my shields. So that in the sh and it's a shield that's increasing my base health. Okay. Also, I'm probably getting a lot closer to yeah. Okay. So I gotta climb this thing. Oh, let's let's do that. Dude, I really like that. I really like that. While I'm out here leveling, there's a lot of different things for me to do. 
pretty early in the game to decide how much of a fan of it I am and how it's all going to add up. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Is that really all I have to do? That's the that's it? Come on, man. Okay, never mind. That was not as cool as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, never mind. There we go. More parkour. I'm sure the parkour gets better in later zones. Gotta love the parkour. I keep forgetting I can sprint. And we are good to go. Signal strength. Place. Okay. Needed to move a step forward. Uh, Wow. And there's actually customer survey. I don't know if that's just for the beta or if that's actually for um, the game itself. Just something to make you feel like you're more part of your path. Uh, I'm going to take it as customer survey, path missions, cartography. Was the mission fun? It wasn't like a big deal. It was just like I jumped up. I'll give it a three. Was the mission objective clear? Yes, it was very clear what I needed to do. Did you feel the mission was tailored for explorers? Yeah, parkouring is for explorers. Additional comments. Parkour. There. I'm sure I'll make somebody smile off that. Uh, is there a dissension robot here, or am I just going to have to jump and get myself killed? Eh, I'm not going to take that much damage. 218 is more damage than I thought I was going to take, to be honest. And I've already at 70% uh, cartography. Oh, that thing's alive? Okay, apparently you can right-click and you'll just start automatically using your one ability, which I didn't know. Nope, 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 nope. Stop it. I guess I have to press it again to shut it off. Let me try. Let me get my volatility up and then I'll just start channeling it and see how I can unchannel it. Does it just channel it until it's like... I guess it I guess it has to run its full channel. I can't just interrupt it unless I use another ability like my three. Uh, gather exile supplies. So I need one more of these friggin' things. Is that one over there? Yeah, that's one over there. There's a few of them around. This bot does, like, no damage. He is literally just there to do the little, the little provoke taunt thing. Give me that triple. Give me that triple. Give me that triple. Vacuum me some loot. I would love to keep vacuuming. It's annoying that it's on my screen and it's not actually vacuuming any loot. I will say that is extremely annoying. <laughs> Also, X, I just realized, is auto potion. Hey! What are you doing? I'm just, walk I'm just walking by, dude. Chill out. So I leveled up. What else do I unlock? A attribute increases. Fantastic. Implants. That's, uh... That's, uh... A little bit of an odd name. New item. Survival backpack. More inventory space. I like that. That is something that I like. And that when I use an item to increase my inventory space, it's not a million other bags. It just adds to my actual inventory space. So much neater. It's so much neater that it's all one menu. Like in WoW, I hated... Sure, you had add-ons I could show all your bag space, but I hated that in WoW. I just hated the... the uh, you shouldn't rely on your fans to make something better for you. You should always, as a, as a game developer, be looking... To do things, to make things available in the game to everybody. Because I know I am somebody who is not a huge fan of downloading add-ons. Just because I had a bad experience where I downloaded an add-on everybody said they used. And I got hacked because of it. Everybody's like, yo man, I use this add-on. It's so good. And I'm just like, okay, everybody uses it. it must be safe to use. Nope. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when developers rely on add-ons to make use of basic features. Sure, it gives the add-on creator something to do. But it's just lazy, in my opinion. Uh, see. I just realized. Spatial anomaly is over here. Also, sci the scientist is not over here. I take that back. Don't worry. I'll just kill them both. Double kill. I wonder if you can get a, a pentakill. I'm sorry. Sorry, I had a League of Legends moment. Strike through chance also. Very cool. More lore unlocks. There's definitely rich lore for people who care about it. I'm somebody who, if I wasn't doing this video, I'd probably listen to the whole thing. But it, the fact that I can show you that it's there is important enough for me. Alright, what do we got? Investigate wreckage. I'm investigating. What the heck is this? My bot seems to, like, lag behind a little bit, which is kind of strange. 
Uh, follow the spatial anomaly, okay? I'm here. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this is the jumping I remember. I remember this jumping from before. Being able to jump like a million... A million miles into the air. Are you? Are you really? Does that mean I matter? Uh, okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go unlock the final little bit. I should be able to fall off here. Not take too much damage. Like 200 something damage, so not so bad. I have how much HP now? I've leveled up a few times. 1600! I'm assuming Engineer is a tank. Or there is a tank spec for Engineer. I'm a heavy armor user. I have a bot that can taunt abilities off of me. It's probably an unconventional tank, but a tank nonetheless. Uh, how much XP do these things give me? Level 3, probably not a lot. Oh, but I got a challenge for it, and I got loot. <clears throat> challenges, I'm always down for challenges. These things, there also seem to be a lot more of them. There's a, there's, damn, these things are all over the place. Double kill? Can I get more? Damn, they just... They're just AoEing the things down. Nope, no triple kill. Did not qualify for the triple. I wonder what the timer is. If there's a timer anywhere that I've just missed to give you timing for the triple kills. And, like, just the, just the killing in general. Like, what the, what the time frame is between everything. Oh, come on, let's go for the Quadra. Quadra. Give me the Quadra. What? Bull. Bull, bull, bull. Super kill. Super kill. I'll take that. That sounds like a quad that sounds like an enhanced quadra kill to me. Did I pick up that book? No, I didn't. There we go. And I'm getting all these buffs and I have no idea where they're coming from. I don't know if they're coming from my bot, because I read the abilities and I didn't see anything along these lines. I got a triple kill because these guys are trying to AoE farm and I'm not... And I'm just... Killing them. I'm just helping kill them all. See, th Kill Chain 8. I'm down. I guess this is a popular place to level up and I guess this is the popular way to do it? Either that or they're all just doing the same thing I I'm doing and they're just trying to do the challenges. Oh, I can help that guy from a distance. Like that. That wasn't a double kill, that was bull is what that was. I'm going to do what that other person was doing. Just grab a bunch of enemies. I'm only going to grab, I guess, just a few. I'm not that greedy. Oh, we got the triple. We got the triple. Super kill. Damn, y'all. I think I've done all this killing and I'm still not done with this challenge. Quite impressive. Loot, come over to me. Bronze level? Bronze? Damn, you gotta kill these things quick if you want. Okay, so that's even cooler in my opinion. The fact that... Can I get these things again? The fact that killing them not fast enough, or killing them even faster gives you an even better reward. Got my bags. Can I, I wonder how many bags I can add to my actual inventory space. And I even have a delete button. Not a delete button, but like a delete thing. Now I understand the point of the challenges. I'm gonna collect that journal real quick. X that stuff out. Still not ca not vacuuming loot. I guess it's too far away. Okay, Alright, we gotta rescue exile prisoners. And, and now we have to kill these things. So now our goal is to kill these things. Wow, you can really, I can really AoE down these. I mean, these things are only level 3, but I am really AoEing, able to AoE these things down. My most basic ability is just able to straight decimate these things. Look at this, just, I don't even have to move. I just, look at this, just super kill, just all over the place. I'm probably not getting any more points towards that, but still. I have no idea where the exile prisoners are either. <laughs> probably not even in this area if I had to guess. Yeah, they're like in they're like way up here. Probably in the cave. Yeah, they're in the cave. Let me actually go in the cave. <laughs> hey, I picked up some loot. 
Did I pick up anything that was, like, useful and all that? I am having a lot of fun. In case you're wondering, so far I am having fun. Which is, I guess, the most important thing. Okay, so now I am running out of space to put, like, all my extra bags, I guess. I guess I'm getting to a point where... There's got to be some place where it's keeping track of what bags I have equipped. Um... Yeah, there's got to be something somewhere. Rescue exile prisoners. Yeah, so they're probably in here. Xenobite. Double kill. Triple kill. Triple kill. I'm down. Yeah, there's one. There's a prisoner. Why is he just attacking his already captured prisoner? Yeah, I should probably just save my stun for actually uh, avoiding abilities. Or my taunt. Either one works. I had to kill a lot of these skeeches. Listen, this is everybody's... These are everybody's enemies. I will share my enemies with you, but I expect you to share your enemies with me. That person probably hates me for constantly just killing their enemies. Cold Burrow Xeno Breather. Okay. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to come back and kill that guy for a quest, but... Achievement. Xeno kill completed. I don't know what that did. But I'm... I just... I just did it for freeing all the survivors for the quest, but... Whatever, sir. New class ability. Urgent withdrawal. Group finder. Can... Can I queue for anything? <laughs> I guess... Rated battlegrounds? Dungeons? Uh... Okay, new class abilities are all here. Attribute increases. New battleground. Waka Walatiki Temple. I guess I can try entering PvP level 6. <laughs> Probably gonna get my ass kicked. And class improvement earned. Okay, so now we can look at class improvement. Let's just uh, rescue this last person real quick. And exit. And then we'll take a look at all that stuff. There's more lore books down there. Uh, I guess I might as well get the lore book. <laughs> Guy's name is Anal Beads. Oh, destroy Xeno by eggs. I just realized I've had a challenge for 30 seconds now that I'm probably going to fail. Are these the eggs? These have to be the eggs. Because I have... I saw the Xenobites before. But I haven't seen any Xenobites since. When did I kill Xenobite eggs? I don't even remember doing that. I don't even... I remember where I killed the first set of them, but I don't remember killing any more. That's a... A skeech. Wow, that thing has a long charge up time. Yeah, here's where I keep killing the Xenobite eggs. It's right up here, but there's got to be other spots. I'm just, I'm just curious as to where these other Xenobots... Also, I accidentally... I must have accidentally turned off... Um, some sort of feature that let me see the names above the heads. Like, I must have pressed a button that did that. Because I'm not seeing them anymore. Oh, there's a Xenobite. I'm just going to keep shooting in all directions until... All my Xenobites appear. <laughs> until I get all my Xenobite kills. Just constantly shoot. No problem. Like, those are Xenobites over there, but those are Xenobite eggs? No, those are just Xenobites. So where are the eggs? That's what I don't know. I don't know where I killed those eggs. I thought it was those things, maybe? But I'm not able to kill those things. Maybe if I- maybe I just have to step on them. Yeah! Okay. That's why I didn't do it, because I did it by accident. Achievement, stay frosty. Alright, let's step on some Xenobite eggs. That's a lot easier than I was making it out to be. And step on some more eggs. Yeah, I deserve bronze for my stupidity. Let's, let's be honest here. I want to see what the silver and gold rewards are. And I didn't need any more bags, but it looks like I'm going to get more bags. Because now when I equip the bags, it's not doing anything. Uh, did I explore everything in Cold Burrow? Yes, I did. Player location unavailable. So player location is unavailable while in these mini dungeons. That's cool. Those are more Xenobites.
Yeah, I guess I'll keep mine on. Mine's got mine have more armor. I'm all about that arm war. Holy crap, I gotta go back far amount. That's uh that is quite the distance I have to travel to hand in this quest. Yeah. Oh grab a burning torch. What the hell? Uh Okay. <laughs> I will do that. What button did I press that got rid of the names above the heads? Okay. Burn Skeech. Oh, well, that's just not nice. The Skeeches deserved it. They deserve it. I'll just tell myself that so I can justify ruining a civilization. The Skeeches don't aggro, do they? First, considering I'm setting fire to all your houses, you guys are awfully calm about all this. Now, I wonder, is there a way for me to teleport back to, like, like a Hearthstone type deal? Where I can use an item to teleport back? I probably just haven't unlocked it yet. Or it just might not exist for the sake of exploration. Which wouldn't surprise me either. Oh. There was a quest. Where do I hand that quest in? Oh, I guess I hand I guess I hand them all in right here, off with their head. Yeah, I hand them all in right here. I guess that was just from killing that enemy in the dungeon. I got his head. Oh, and I got a new bazooka. What's it got? It has less assault power. It's got more health. This, uh, it's got a lot more support power. I don't know. I just unlock support skills like just this level. So I guess I should probably check it out. Bruiser bot. No, bruiser bot. I've had. What else did I unlock? I unlocked something else new, didn't I? I could. I know I unlocked the fifth slot. I probably did. Oh, that's why I have to buy it. Urgent withdrawal. Deal 88 physical damage to five foes. Apply a snare and propel yourself backwards. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's buy it. Probably just shouldn't be buying skills like that. But oh, and I also got my uh, AMPs. All right, so let's check out this AMP system. So you have hybrid. You can go assault, support, or utility. I would also love to be able to zoom in, but it doesn't seem like it's letting me do that. So I've got one AMP point. So what is this? Increases strike through chance, increases life steal, deflect chance, excuse me, support power, deflect critical hit chance, PvP defense, and maximum shield capacity, dash regeneration, cooldown reduction, CC resilience, that's utility, increases armor pierce, PvP offense, critical hit severity, assault power, and critical hit chance. Wow, that is actually, I have no idea what to do with these points. Hmm. Well, I can tell you right now, cooldown reduction is a big one for me. I always have a firm belief that cooldown reduction is one of the most important stats in the game. So, I'm just going to use that. Cooldown reduction is a great stat. So, I'm going to use it. I don't think it's necessarily good at this level because I don't have any... I only have, what, two abilities now with the... No, I only have, what, one ability now that has a long cooldown? <laughs> I really like that. Although, this technically does have a cooldown. It, uh... How long does it take to charge up a stack? It doesn't say how long it takes to charge up a stack. Two ability charges, range, deals. How long does it take to get it back, though? Okay, there, it's back. Got something for me. No, I do not want to take those pants. Those pants are actually not bad. They have a lot of base health. Uh, but what else you got? What else you got for me, buddy? Never mind, I'm going to take those pants. Did that by accident, but... Xenofang Needler has an imbuement. The old Ultrabot violence. Destroy the Dominion. Oh, I have to I have to do that. Destroy the Dominion destroy the Dominion Ultrabot special laceration. It's better overall though. It's got less finesse, but it's definitely a more tanky item. What's the word? Good. Just don't get cocky out there. Don't worry, I won't. You don't have to worry about me, buddy. I never get cocky. I only fight twelve enemies at once just for shits and gigs. So we've got, what, heavy, we've got heavy feet. One, some, some have brutality and some have finesse. Um, tough one. Same armor. One is more attack focused and one is more, well, they're both attack focused. I'll go with this. Strike through chance is good because I hate getting deflected. All right, so what do we got here? Contact with Thade. We got 86% expedition done. 
So how do I get this imbuement, I guess? Let me equip all this new stuff. All right, so Xenofang Needler. How do I actually get the imbuement? What is it I need to do? The old Ultrabot violence destroy the Dominion Ultrabot. So I don't know where the Dominion Ultrabot is, I guess. Maybe it's here. Dominion Ultrabot, yeah. Hey, look, they're dueling. What level are they? Five and four. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got this intense PvP right here. This person is just shooting. They have no idea. This person on the stealth class is getting dominated, though. I want to duel somebody. Can I drop a PvP flag? I want to play. How the hell do I get back to the friggin' thing that lets me queue up for PvP? I have no idea what the buttons are off the top of my head, as you can see. PvP flag is on. What the hell was that? Oh, I just used my R like an idiot. Um, Raided Battlegrounds, Warplot, Practice Grounds, Practice Arenas, Available Practice Grounds, Warplots. Wow, uh, 40v40, no thank you. How do I drop my, uh, my PvP flag? I have PvP turned on. But I would, I would like to actually, like, PvP-ish. No revenge, so honorable. Man, I should really look at the buttons for this game, shouldn't I? Alright, so let's look at the key bindings. Now that I'm in the game... Oh, never mind, I got a cutscene. No. No. I'm doing perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going to get in that ship, am I? Please tell me that's just the NPCs that I'm saving and I'm not actually being transported to another zone. Because I don't want to go yet. Date is probably my main city. Nope. I don't want to go. It's going to make me go, isn't it? No, okay, it's not. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wow. So that's not good. Alright, so anyway, where are the PvP? <laughs> where are the PvP actions? Uh, how do I, like, drop a flag or something like that? Or do I just, or is it like, do I just right-click somebody and challenge them? Oh, I'm phased out, aren't I? I'm phased out of those other people. Or they left. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Sure, I'll accept the duel. Hold S? The hell? This is really strange. How come I can't... Just me or does this guy do no damage? Is it just me or does this guy do like no damage? This Mr. like... I was like... I was doing horrible there. I was trying to make my friggin' bruiser bot do something. Why is it saying no? I guess because there's no enemies? Like, my bruiser bot, when I activate him, is supposed to launch him to a target destination, but he's not going on cooldown for some reason. Maybe it's a bug? Like, the thing above my head doesn't... I don't know what that means. That's kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. The half the battle I spent trying to get my bruiser bot just to just to see if it can taunt him in PvP. Well, that was an that was a sadly easy win. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that was a really easy win. <laughs> that was really really easy. All right, I guess let's uh, finish up the exploration. I'll make this the end of part two. I guess in part three, I'll do some, some, I'm only going to be level six in PvP, but it's just going to be nice to see the PvP zones. 
Crystal Titan. These Crystal Titans aren't really doing much, are they? They were for that one quest, and I haven't really played around with them too much. I also didn't do any of this at all in PvP. Just a lot of things I'm not used to. But I did spend half the battle trying to get my friggin' Blitz. Also, that whole breaking CC by holding S, that caught me way off guard. I was not ready for that. Definitely a lot more active combat role. Which I think is good. That was like, that caught me off guard how it just expected me to do. Thank you for that. Surveillance. Dominion scum? Is there going to be PvP? I'm probably going to die if there's going to be PvP. Also, I totally did not dodge that ability at all because I was looking around to see if there's any PvP. <laughs> Wow, that was a uh, straight decimation. All right, so I need to do this surveillance. Where am I surveying? I guess the better question. I need to do that. Oh, there. I can survey up here. Give me more rocks. Reveal my path. This is only for the most parkourist of parkours. Is that the end? Nope, okay. Jump puzzles, jump puzzles. The game is very jump-centric, if that's a word, which probably isn't. I guess that's over where that guy is. If I had to guess, that's where I'm going to have to go. Yep. And we're good to go. Three more tutorials that I don't need. And that should, I guess, level up my exploration once. Whoa! Sniper lead to command. Snipers are on the ground. I didn't know I just set up a sniper spot. Then again, it did tell me that this was the sniper spot. <laughs> don't know why I wouldn't think that there were going to be snipers involved. All missions complete in my Datacron. Alright, so I did all those missions. Nice. Let's see if we can finish up the zone, the, the zone story right here in my other tasks. Like, destroying the Dominion Ultrabot. Is that the Dominion Ultrabot? That's a Dominion Cannon. Yeah, double kill. Give me some loot. Rapidly tap key. Okay, that was... That did not require much rapid tapping. Just a little bit, but... Better than none, I suppose. Whoa! Okay. That unit is busy. I didn't rescue you, did I? That wasn't me that did that. Dominion Blaster Bot. Hello? Okay, I have no volatility, so I don't know what I was planning to accomplish there. It looks like when those abilities charge up that the abilities might actually hit, which, uh, before it finishes completing. Now, because I played Final Fantasy XIV for so long, that is something I definitely have to get used to. Because I'm used to, yeah, let me see, when we watch. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Because I definitely got hit by that AoE, but I was, I was moving out of it as it was going. It also looks like we can't multi-share objectives. Like, I can't capture the same person, it's like, it's... I guess we're all phased into capturing the same people. That's what I'm trying to say. Not enough volatility. Like, if this guy starts that, then I have to move out before it finishes casting. Because as it's finishing casting, it will actually do it. Hey, rapidly tap. Tap a tap tap. Little taparoo. That is so awesome. I love that ability. I'm going to use that to hell in PvP. I'm, I press it too much is the problem right now, though. So, I need to destroy the Dominion Ultrabot. Here he is. Think we can solo him? I think so. I also have aggro on me. And whatever is aggro to me is hurting a lot. Okay, that was pretty easy. What the hell? Stop shooting me, dude. You're hitting me really hard, and it's really annoying. Thank you. Dead Eye Anti-Personal Cannon. I don't understand. Is that what I... Is that my imbuement? Oh, my inventory's full. 
So I got my imbuement, but I also got another item, from what I'm understanding. Recovers focus for every 80 seconds. For 80 while well, every seconds, yeah. Northern Wild Survival Kit. I didn't even notice that I got that. Alright, these bags gotta go. These extra bags gotta go. What's this? Scout Reverberator. Oh my god, I'm gonna equip that. That is pretty sweet. It's probably vendor some of the stuff, but I'm just gonna delete it for the time being. Oh, hello, he's back! Vacuum the loot. Like how I still can't vacuum the loot after all that. And this this weapon isn't even as good as my Xenofang Needler. Which now has a laceration special effect. I don't know what it does, but it's... I'm down. Wow, that is not a very secure way to maintain a barrier. <laughs> that is... That is not a very safe way at all. I wonder what's even in here. Oh, we got a... Uh... Wait, what the hell is this? Did I just... Did I just select go to a new area? I didn't mean to do that if I if that's what I did just I did. Damn it. The it, the question wasn't there on my screen. I didn't want to come here yet. I got a bunch of quests I got to hand in. Can I go back? Please? Can I get back in the ship and go back? As dangerous as that sounds. Yes, I can. If I were you, I'd get that Yes. Yeah, it's not it's not showing me the text for Am I all the way back at the landing site? I'm going to have to walk all the way back over there, aren't I? Damn it! Damn it! That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's just a bug. It just happened to be a really annoying bug that I didn't know what I was saying yes to. At least I have all these quests to hand in. Well, I'm going to get back to... In fact, what am I even going to get back to? I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to say this is the end of Part 2. I'll run back over for the beginning of Part 3. I'm also going to do a little bit more PvPing in the next one. So we can start to get a look at the PvP for Wildstar. But anyway, guys, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Going to try and do some more Wildstar coverage as I can as the beta weekends become available. I think this this is a bonus weekend I'm recording this on right now. I don't know when the actual the actual next beta weekend is if there even is one the game launches in like four weeks so it wouldn't surprise me if there isn't but uh thanks for watching uh be sure to follow me on twitch as well where i will be live streaming maybe i'll even live stream some wild star during the summer who knows but i'll talk to you guys later take care